Hello, I'm Howell Williams and I'm co-director of the Centre of Evidence-Based Dermatology here at the University of Nottingham. I'd like to tell you about the five-year findings from the Barrier Enhancement for Eczema Prevention trial. So the question we're trying to answer here is can we prevent atopic eczema, also known as atopic dermatitis, by daily emollients on the skin of babies born into families where there is a history of eczema, asthma or hay fever? The two-year primary outcome has already been published in The Lancet. We found no difference in atopic dermatitis using the UK Working Party criteria. So why follow up for five years? Well, maybe there's a delayed effect on atopic dermatitis prevention or severity. And we also wanted to look at primary prevention of food allergy, asthma and rhinitis, which tend to develop later in childhood. Here is a reminder of the study design. 1,394 families kindly participated, were randomised to either standard skincare advice or the same advice, plus emollients daily for the first year of life. If we now look at doctor diagnosis up to five years, this is cumulative incidence, no difference in atopic dermatitis or for food allergy, no difference for asthma, no difference for allergic rhinitis, and no difference for atopic dermatitis severity in five years. So these five-year data are quite unique, yet they are still consistent with most of the high-quality studies on eczema prevention from emollients to date. I'd like to thank you for listening, and do look at the details of the five-year study in allergy. Thank you.